Hey guys, what's going on? We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. I'm James. We're back here with season one, episode four, Raised by Wolves. Uh, we took a little break because of holiday, mm -hmm. holidays. Uh, not sure when you guys will get this one, but uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you. It's New Year's Day for us right now. Yes, it is. 2021, yeah. baby. Yeah, <laughs> pretty crazy. Hopefully it's a better year than 2020. 2020 yeah, is I mean, a distant I think memory. it all sucks. So you just keep putting numbers on it. <laughs> so. right, 06 is really good for me. 06 was really good for yeah, you. Just, it's, there was a time in your life that was good that you slapped some numbers on it. And, oh, you know, yeah. Now you have a reference. They're a marker. Yeah, they're yeah. references, yeah. right? Yeah. In China, like, it's like, like 20, 20, 20, 20 is like a clean slate. 21, baby. So 06 was really out. good for you. What, what Do you have a year that you remember it was just really fucking good? No. No? Never a year in my life. Oh, uh -huh. five, was, <laughs> oh five was good for you. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. It was good for me. It just happened. I'll be Probably like a few months out of the year at some point. I remember 05 being pretty good for you. Those I years? Know. I don't remember them being that good. Yeah, well, like senior you know, year in high school. That was, yeah, your senior My junior year. Yeah, man. Yeah. Moved, moved the fuck out of there. And yeah, it was a good the, time. Lived in a camper for that a while. That was a good time, I know. <laughs> that made it better. That's, yeah. For me, uh, for you it was. For me, 08 was good, 09 was good, and 13 was good because that's the years I had my kids. About 14, it started to go right down hill, and the last six years have been pretty brutal. 2020 we don't need to go into 2000, years have been 2020 was the worst so 2020 <laughs> so. was the worst ever like let's pray that only up from 2020 I can say 2020 is one of the worst years of my life yeah so. it, was, it was this 2021 good. was definitely a time of change yeah. 2020 so yeah yeah 2021 is just kind of like you went nuclear to fallout we're looking forward we're not looking back and uh, try to have a mm. great 2021 yeah I imagine it just like scavengers after a nuclear holocaust that's, that's 2021 for you hopefully, right. hopefully not let's, let's hope not <laughs> um okay so last time a few things happened um like we we learned we, we we see some things from the perspective of the mithraic uh we see inside their heads a little bit when they're on their journey their interstellar journey that they're actually in there they're in stasis they're just, but their their consciousness is yeah they're conscious yeah and they're living in like a recreation of the ship <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and they spend uh, what about I think it was thirteen years, mm -hmm. and they develop a relationship with Paul, which you find out earlier that the Marcus that we know isn't actually Marcus. His name is Caleb. Yeah, and you have to forgive me, but uh, I don't remember the woman's name that he's with. I'm not sure either. Yeah, I can't we'll remember. We'll find either. that out. But uh, yeah, it, yeah. they develop a parent, you know, a more of a paternal relationship. paternal relationship yeah. with that child. Something that he had with his he did not have. Why are you talking to me? It's yeah, me. yeah. He said, "You know, you never talk." To I me. want my kids to be like that. <laughs> well, you, we also found out in the last episode that uh, a lot of the children that the androids were trying to raise were killed by radiation poisoning because the pits from the carbos that they had farmed the crops, when they broke down, they became radioactive. So yeah, they had killed off all the kids. Yeah, Campion yeah. mistook that as uh, mother trying to poison them and being harmful to them, right? And that's I why wish he, it, that was with the new ones, right? Because the new ones were throwing up or something like that. Yeah. The yeah, new ones were getting yeah. more and more sick. I don't know yeah. if... Well, Campion looked at his siblings that all passed away and got sick. Oh, he did? Yeah, I think. Well, he well, thought the, that Mother was... Like looking back, he may have thought yeah, that. Yeah. Looking back. Campion. I think that's why he... Yeah, looking back. And I think that's why he wanted to take the kids and disappear. Because he's like, well, now the new kids are getting sick or they're... Unhealthy, and I don't know if he thought Mother yeah. was doing it intentionally or yeah. what. Yeah, but anyway, so they got in trouble. Right. They they were eventually saved. Uh, the big group of them were saved by Father, and mm -hmm. then that one was Paul. It? Paul. Yeah. Paul wandered off. They found one. They're wandering in the wilderness. They found a little wicker man toy. Yep. Which is never a good sign. Yeah. And they um, also, I believe, Paul was found by someone in a robe at the towards the end of the episode, and you don't see who it is. They don't disclose that. Okay, yeah. And you also found out in the middle of all that that the Mithraic were the ones that created the necromancers. Yeah. So yeah. Mother has kind of been a repurposed necromancer that an atheist evidently mm -hmm. cracked because they make a point to say in the episode that no atheist has ever been able to successfully reprogram a necromancer. Yeah. Well, evidently she has been the most successfully reprogrammed one even though she's been reverting. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Yeah, and, and that, so that, that was weird. We found out that they were on their side, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, repurposed. All right, so going forward, hopefully some trust issues that everyone had. Maybe they'll be a little more resolved. Yeah, uh, But we'll hopefully. see going forward. Yes, we will. We'll check it out. Fuck. 
drop really easy on the It's time to sleep now, Paul. Huh. Oh. Oh. That was a deep hole, man. Yeah, you usually burn it in while you're falling. Yeah. Getting hotter and hotter. Yeah. Stalking near the lander. Is that where your mouse is now, too? We saw? No, animals don't go anywhere when they die. Death is the end of them. Damn, seeing all dogs go to heaven, apparently. <laughs> that was with Charlie. Charlie, man. Charlie, that motherfucker. I'll tell you what, dude. You know what happened to Scarface, too. Isn't it? Yeah. You can't kill it. You don't want your new friends to starve, do you? No, but. I'll find something else we can eat. It's a waste of time and calories. But if it will help with climate change. Come on then. Let's get to it, Father. Why would you leave the weapon there? Because he's Did a dumbass. He, he don't have giving in to the yeah. let's not kill. I think it was like no. a visual yeah. representation yeah. of that. I like to recycle. Visual representation of being dumb because he fucking. Yeah. We just took sharpsticks right everywhere. So. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's just, <laughs> so I always thought it was dumb. <laughs> like, go, go to Walmart. Why don't you have your stick in your truck? <laughs> it's time to sleep now, Tempest. Sleep now. No, no, listen. Oh my god. Tracking device. Is that right, maybe? Just like it. Oh, wow. Healing touch. Sleep now. What if one of them's like near the rock and falls over and just cracks her head? <laughs> Sleep now. <laughs> we'll stay here. We'll use the explosives to make an entrance, and then we'll get moving. No! We must be careful not to destroy what's inside. Yeah, I thought those little explosives. Let's <laughs> blow it up. Maybe there's a process finding edible things, you know? Especially in an arid wasteland. We won't have to kill it. The lander will have to do a more rigorous analysis. But it does look promising. I, I love their little side story, actually. You can take a look at my you love what? I, I love their little side story. Oh, yeah. The sun is sunk. The shadowy night is raining in your room. We pray to Saul, his saving light, to guide us through the gloom. You don't know it. Who we wrote their scriptures as a poet? That was like a... That was pretty nice, actually. <laughs> pretty nice, but that guy needs a fucking cleaver put through his skull. He does. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, he is. Ooh, I wonder if it's uh can they all hear it? What's going on? catch this spirit before it falls so he may join you in eternity. Shine your light as he walks the dark corridor. Please wait! Just wait, wait! Eleven minutes, it's near week. It's one of ours. I think about freaking out, I heard I would grab it off. You're trying to get rid of me, your eminence. I would never resort to such atheistic treachery. <laughs> Can you explain this? Strike me down. See where it leads you. Oh. I think those things would be killed that easily. Might have been his sex robot, too. She has the earwig transmitter. It was her. No need to apologize for the accusations, Captain. Your error was understandable. Anyway, it looks like she can still be repaired. No repair necessary. Fucking kill so he can fucking take his wife. Yeah, Davidic piece of shit is what he is. I don't think I'd want to eat that. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Jam the spear into the creature's flesh. Then repeat the action until it dies. It will take practice. It's funny how he breaks it down. You just stab it and stab it and ghost it. You can tell him where to stab. And he's right, you know. Lots of growing up. You can tell him where to stab the fucking thing. Yeah. 
the dead no, it's human of that's been mutated. It's, it'd be hard for me to kill kind of that. Well, maybe it'd be easy because it'd be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no point putting it off. We could break down unexpectedly. They need to know what to do. I will handle this, mother. That's a good practical reason, honestly. It is. I won't involve Tempest. I'd also like to spare him from this. But we can't. Give me a few hours. And when you come back, it'll all be done. <laughs> that was cool how he said it. Yeah. Are we setting it free? I'm sorry, Captain. Mother! That's the habit that's that's of my house. <laughs> no. I'm the son of a senior cleric. I can't kill. That would make me impure. Um, but killing can be done by military families and uh, like androids like yourself. Yeah, he needs, you know, he needs a purple nurple, dude. If that would really... It's not good enough. I just need to be slapped across the cheek. I'd rather be slapped than have a fucking purple nurple. Are you kidding me? To the bruise? Yeah, both of them? Oh. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, we'll just settle this with Gizzy's good... Ass beaten. He just needs a shit kicked out. Now. Come on! Got it! Got it! Your turn. <laughs> 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 You're forcing it to suffer more by delaying its death. They slaughtered animals on Earth for food for thousands of years! Ah! <laughs> just to make you finish this task! <laughs> all right, all right. At least you're not intelligent. I died once. Death can be very unpleasant when you're intelligent. Let's go finish the job, Father. Uh, honestly, He's still being fine, even yeah. under dire circumstances. Honestly, I think the right thing to have done would for him to do it. Make them cook, process it and cook it. Make them a part of the process and then say, okay, now you're going to be a part of the first step. You know? Yeah. But in, in the interest... Well, there are also in the interest, very extreme circumstances there. Yeah. Versus here. Because here... You can take your time and still buy groceries at the fucking store while acclimating them to that. Yeah. Whereas those two could break down unexpectedly, he said. Yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're right about that. <laughs> take that back and eat that. It's already cooked. You're right, but. I can fix them. No, you cannot fix this, Campion, because these are not broken, these are dead. All six of them. Dead! Oh, wow. And dead is forever! So he was messing with the, uh... Get out! The embryos. Get out! Damn, that was some crazy don't emotion. Don't tell them. Captain Inspiria, don't tell them what they are. Get out! Wow. I mean, I don't think... She was... She could have handled that better. No, no, I mean, I think that was, like, kind of a human reaction. It was a very human reaction. It's a human reaction, but even if that was a fucking human, for necromancer, there's a better way other than just screaming around like a child at a child to show them childlike behavior is okay when yeah. you're an adult. We pray to Saul, his saving light, to guide us through the gloom. So that's not scripture. That's a lullaby. Every mistake child knows it. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it recited at um. Comforts me. You have me as well. Lucius, could you uh, give us some bones? <laughs> it's a lot of money. I thought it was going to be something simple like in Our Father. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the first prayer you right, learned? Right. I don't understand why you didn't try and take me out along with you. Can't kill you. You've done it to me. <laughs> These people, it's, it's, like, it's like a fucking. How does this work? He's going to go over there and set him up so he'll get fucking killed. Yeah. I promise. Saul will forgive you. He wants them to do it, so yeah. he doesn't have to do it. And he's just—he recognizes that everybody's having their at odds with him right now. For it. It. It's an order. Our leader has lost his faith. We are being tested, and we must not falter. <laughs> I know you're not Marcus Process, but at least you want them to know what to do. Stop, drop, and roll! Yeah! That's consuming him pretty fast. The consuming fire. Lord of the load! I'll bring it close to him, get warm again. I heard a voice. Wow. 
Marcus kind of had a religious experience there. Yeah, which is interesting. What took? Is that the person in the cloak? I yeah. told you. Tally. Tally, is that you? The, the, the person in the cloak, I think, didn't they see him or her or whatever it was? Yeah, and that Around was, the time yeah. of the wicker toy? Yeah. Right, it was a cave? Mm-hmm. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I can't let you. I like you, and I don't want you to die. Hey, kid, why don't you stop playing the Mara, okay? Put on, eat it. We won't judge you for it. Will we? Hey, fuck that kid, man. Look his ass. That kid sucks. He sucks. But he is fucking starving. Hey! He, she killed him. Is it? Oh. She was hungry. Damn, she killed that fucking thing with that little thing. Oh. It's like a damn God. Native American out there in the, the plains killing buffalo and ripping their heart out. Oh my God. <laughs> you Dances saying? with wolves, man. Yeah. She had a baby inside. <gasps> Put it in the. In my... It was a mother. Oh. Oh. Have you ever killed a pregnant deer? I don't think we've ever killed one. It's not the season for it. No, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. There was all kinds of shit that happened that episode. It was pretty eventful, and then this time, like on they were letting sides. things sink in. There was a lot. There was a lot more action. You know. Yeah. Everything going on on the Thraic side with uh, Marcus mm-hmm. playing a political political chess with uh, Ambrose. Yeah. And, you know, how that all came about, which yeah. was nice. I'm glad Ambrose is dead. And um, Yeah, me too. The, everything with the creature mm-hmm. and father trying to force their hand mm-hmm. into slaughter and killing it. So, they could Yo, so what do you think it. about that? I think like when your that, father took you hunting, okay, I know these are different circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. So I have to take that into consideration. Yeah, I like so. seeing this side of Father. I don't know if what he did and how he did it was the best way to do it, you know? Well, he, he just knows that in that environment where they're at, he said it to Mother even. He said, look, we can break down unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. They need to know how to do this. Yeah. Well, and our, yeah. Our so, hunting's mostly recreational. Uh, yeah, it's not out of necessity. Right? Yeah. If you're I mean, living up yeah. in, like, Alaska. Exactly. you're hunting every day for food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. if you ever watch Mountain Men... I've no. watched shows similar to that. Oh, it's one of my favorite yeah. shows. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But this episode started out with Mother saving Paul mm-hmm. from falling down that deep ab- uh, abyss, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was really good because when Paul came back, he was defending Mother. He was like, hey, the necromancer saved me. You know what I mean? Saved me. Uh-huh. And he was telling the other kids of the Mithraic. You know, what happened? So I thought that was a really, really important moment. And no, it seems yeah, like for there's sure. been a big, uh, a significant shift in the way Campion feels about Mother right now, and the way the Mithraic children feel about Mother. Yeah, they don't seem like as it gets like they were, right? Nah, not for the most part. I mean, that one kid, the oldest one. Yeah, fuck still Mr. IQ. Like, yeah, still acts like he, you know, he knows best. And he's, shit, a, he's, he's a douchebag. He is yeah. a douchebag. Total douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. Total Coward. Douchebag. He's lazy. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. he reminds me of a way of uh, Ambrose. Yeah, you know I mean, well, yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. You know, Ambrose yeah. is doing that shit on the other end. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is that any any belief system, you have people like that, they right? Just take advantage of it, and mm-hmm. they're just cowards. End up no matter where you're at, they'll you'll find them somewhere. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, he said he couldn't kill like he couldn't kill the animal because his family line didn't come from something warriors or no, something no he said that he couldn't kill it because it would make him impure and yeah pure, he's not right? he's yeah, not from his, his family he's not a soldier class was soldier class he said he was the son of a cleric yeah or something like that and yeah. then ambrose didn't want to blow the hole in the side of the the temple or whatever that is because he felt like it was a sin against soul so he was trying to make marcus do it i yeah, think he know. did it he didn't want to do it because he didn't want to fucking look bad yeah so he's trying to make him do it but he knew everybody else was against him. I thought it was an important thing you said earlier uh, at the beginning, Zach, when you said there was extremists on both sides. It kind of reminds me of our country right now. It seems like there's two polar opposites, two extremes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's just hope that we don't be fall <laughs> a similar downfall. Yeah. Uh, you know, if 2021 is any worse than 2020... It probably won't be as extreme, but it could be pretty pretty rough. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't. Uh, this country is going to head up its ass. Yes. But, you know, we've had it too good for too long, and this is what we get. So, so this planet had some kind of intelligent life. Yeah, I mean, like they made that big ass temple. It seems to be, and it emits heat. And like you said, Marcus heard voices. Yeah. You know, and it reacted to their violence. 
Yeah. Uh, that fucking thing in that little shed looks like a fucking person. <laughs> well, that thing they found in the desert at least reacted to Marcus or Caleb. Yeah. And because it, he heard the whispers. Mm-hmm. And right. you also have something going on that may be, um, how do you want to put it, paranormal. Mm-hmm. Because of these kids showing up in the cloaks. Yeah. So these people are seeing things, but you don't know what yet. Yes. Well, I want to know is why are the androids seeing them too? True, true. Because in the first, in the last episode, it was the kids. True. You know, you'd think if it was Tally that was in that cloak, like like a good version of Tally, that she would have ran into Father's arms and it would have been this beautiful reunion. So there's something going on there where it's Well, who saw the cloak figure seems. in the last episode? I don't remember now. Was it Father or was it one of the androids was or was it one of the kids? I thought it was the kids. I thought it was a kid too. Yeah. yeah. So this... Something on this planet, which I don't, you know, I'm not sure if any of it developed there on that planet, or if it had been, you know, they talked about earlier in the episode, they thought it was a virgin planet. Well, obviously it's not a virgin planet, something's been there before. Right. Yeah. So they don't know what. That's like what's interesting to me, is I want to know about this planet, who was there before, does, when those fucking snake things go extinct, are they extinct? That's the hard science fiction details, my friend. That are, yes. That are very important. I Just can't as important as uh, the drama and the characters. No, yeah, I, I love yeah, that shit. Yeah, like, I, I go on Wikipedia and look up... Well, it's funny, because I pitched an idea to you not long ago, and you said you didn't like it. So. <laughs> like, I'm not interested in any of that. Like, well, I don't think I would ever say that. <laughs> even, if I was, even if I wasn't interested, I don't think I'd ever but say maybe, that. Yeah. <laughs> we did, but maybe you're talking about something else. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. What do you guys think of, uh, of Campy and praying there before they put the plant in the little machine there to find the computer system to find out if it's toxic or, or not and how do you feel no about like that little that little side quest that, yeah, that was that fun was awesome, and, and that was cool I, I love camping like i just love the father sitting there like you know your kid wants to do something and you're like all right i'll, I'll humor him and yeah. we'll go do this stupid thing you know and you're sitting there watching him because exactly. you need them to learn how many times have we done that with our own kids right i stopped doing it though <laughs> you know, so. right, you can't just force them they can't they just download shit into their brains though because what part of that learning is the experience itself yeah yeah so you know it's almost like we're all people become hyper attentive Mm -hmm. to their kids at this point whereas back in the day kids just ran amok Mm -hmm. oh dude yeah even when we were our age i mean yeah I'm sure you guys. But it's, it's a hills. hard compromise because yeah, we don't want our kids to be kidnapped. You don't want them to get hit by a car out here because people have become increasingly neg- negligent too. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, the, the obl- how oblivious and indifferent people are these days. Yeah, you can't really trust people not yeah. to do that crazy shit or your kid not to be eaten by a clown in the sewer. So you just don't yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah. you know. So the reason I mentioned Campy and praying was because you know he was pretty passionate about not wanting to kill that creature. And I think the reason he didn't want to kill the creature is because before that he had a conversation with the Mithraic kids, and he asked, you know, hey, do do animals go to with soul too, go to heaven or whatever? Yeah. Uh, and they said no, they just pretty much cease yeah, to, he, cease he to also, exist. But my mother had that memory. Yeah. When yeah. she was in the once you're dead, you're dead. Yeah. yeah when she dead, freaked out on him, and that kind of made an impression on him. And he didn't want to basically send that creature into the abyss of darkness he doesn't he doesn't want that responsibility right right wait well what's interesting is also like their circumstances have led them to be vegetarians you know what i mean yeah because they they didn't have anything to offer up as meat yeah so it's just funny how that will that can influence a philosophy so now you have these rat pig people running around that are like (laughs) you fucking you kill it you find out it's pregnant it's like well just you know, I don't know, cook, the, cook the, the baby thing, whatever you want to call it. I mean, know. they're in this situation now. I want to know, yeah. first off, if that was a human, or it used to be a human. Yeah, I thought, it was, gonna, I I thought, be, it, was, I thought it was going to be a person. Then I would eat the mother, but I wouldn't eat that fucking thing, the, the baby. I'd the just, baby? I couldn't, I couldn't touch it after that. Well, There's a difference, I, but it's, I don't know. I yeah. mean, I wonder if they're, if that if the baby's dead. I mean, you know, they may be able to uh, quickly yeah. transfer it over to the... But if it's not... the uh, If it's just another one of those things... Yeah. Yeah, but then so, I mean, yeah, theoretically, because remember they 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 the the embryos grow very quickly in that pod system. I think right, yeah, right. I think, I think, they grow and it's like eat it, grow it and eat it, and just repeat the process if if they can find a way to do it. Just yeah, like <laughs> they quick set up breeding facilities. Well, they still they, they still them. they still need something to fertilize. Yeah, yeah exactly. They inseminate it. Like, you got to have they, they a whole must, setup. There. You got to find a, go back and find a goddamn nest of those things. And right. Gotta, you know. You got to go to Circuit City. Who knows? Maybe <laughs> Mother has the ability to do that. Yeah. Now. We'll see. We'll see. 
yeah, it, but I, I thought it was interesting, her conversation with Tempest. You know, Tempest, obviously, you know, I have been in the circumstances, I can't really understand, you know what I mean, to go through that, and then, like, you have this, you have something growing inside of you. You know, I, I understand why she's feeling what she's feeling. Uh, and then I also understand kind of mothers, like, hey, you know, like, you have to get the life you can create, I can't create. I want to be you, and Tempest is like, well, I want to be you. I right. Wanna, and I'm like, like I, w- I would not want to be an necromancer. I, I would not want to be either of you. <laughs> I would not, yeah. Yeah, not, not what, yeah. The, not what uh, Tempest went through with the, the rape and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. She took uh, out the tracker. I think that was a tracker, right? Yeah, it was, it was tracker. Yeah, and was she cool. had a healing touch thing. Well, because the, um, Caleb, Marcus, mm-hmm. his wife, girlfriend, whatever she is. Yes, talked about the tracker being... Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. the kids moved again. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, we saw... Re- yeah. Referring to her mm-hmm. and all that business going down on the camp. Yeah. You know, the, the eminence, Ambrose was giving her the eyes. Yeah. Like stroking her cheek and talking to her and everything. And, yeah. You know, and then he tried to get uh, Marcus killed. Yeah. You know, try to set him up with his android and the earpiece and the emitter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's very King David straight out of the Old Testament. Yeah. You know, I don't remember the guy's name mm-hmm. he sent to the front lines, but he, he got him killed. Yeah, so he, he got could, him. So he could marry his woman. Well, yeah. Let so, me ask you this, Zach. So, father wanted the children to kill the creature, kind of a rite of patch- passage, right? Mm-hmm. At least he wanted Campion to into like adulthood and Campion said, yeah, I still want to well, be a child. He wants to prepare him. Yeah. Do you did you growing up, you know, out there with your family ever have that moment where you kind of that rite of passage with killing your first animal, hunting, do you recall? Remember that killing your very first animal? Yeah, yeah. Do you recall that at all? Or was it just always kind of I remember the first one I think that I ever shot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and then, uh, I was probably Isabel's age. Yeah. So I was probably like 11, 12. So, around what were your emotions? Was it excitement or was it excitement and sadness? Or There was, there was no att- attachment to it. It was no attachment. No, it's just what you did. It was just what you did. Yeah, yeah. I never so, had that moment because I've never shot anything. Have you, Shane? Not shot a lot of things. I've never shot a deer. No. <clears throat> what shot got me, though, was when my grandpa had a, a coon trapped in a live trap, a box trap. And, uh, in front of the barn? Oh no, no, he didn't. He shot out of a tree. I'm sorry, and mm-hmm. it dropped down out of the tree in front of the down in front of the house on the bottom of that bank. Um, and it was just laying there, kind of helpless, like kind of hissing at him. Right. And he went to shoot it, and I couldn't watch. Oh. So I've always been ashamed of that. Brutal. So I should have watched. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see it suffer either. Well, yeah, it, just, it was a different circumstance when they could just like, you know, land. But then I've shot did deer. Did I've shot that? deer later, though. Yeah. And they were, you know, you didn't get the kill shot on it, so yeah. you had to go ahead and... Yeah, go you said that's not always yeah. fun. Right? So it wasn't that great, cause right. especially if you didn't do it right, but I just ended up walking up and shooting it in the head. Yeah. yeah. So that just, it was different to... there as opposed to... That fucks me up. You know, I don't know what was different with the raccoon. I was younger, so maybe that's why. Yeah, my first you know? uh, experience with death, my dad, uh, or of an animal, a wild animal, uh, my dad somehow came across a... What's those birds that are around here? Not a turkey, but it's like a pheasant. Pheasant? Mm-hmm. Found a pheasant somehow out in the middle of they the fucking, woods. You're walking out in the brush and they come flying out yeah. there at Mach 1? Well, he, he hit it over the head with something. <laughs> and he put it in the back of his truck. Yeah. Well, when he got home, guess what? The fucking pheasant was awake. Wasn't dead. He thought he killed it. So I remember him grabbing that thing by the neck, carrying it in our basement, holding it down on a fucking concrete block a little... with an axe hold it down just poof. and I was down there and I saw this shit and blood just immediately mm. everywhere <clears throat> well, well you know what freaked me the fuck out this ferret ran around for like 10 minutes in my basement with no head <laughs> yeah like chickens <laughs> with no head well the uh, yeah I've been growing up I mean none of that shit really ever got to me uh, that often because it's just what you did yeah, yeah. we butchered I guess I've killed fi- I guess I've killed I guess I've killed fish yeah I was still I'm still scarred about that <laughs> experience with that damn pheasant you butcher cattle pigs uh, deer mm-hmm. you know we fucking hunt squirrel rabbit yeah. I mean, yeah none of that stuff ever really got to me it's what you, just what you did well, yeah, squirrels no. like a damn rat. It don't that don't get to me either. In the fucking day. You killed turtles, <laughs> yeah. um, frogs, fish, <laughs> snakes. You guys eat some snakes? No, but you killed them. I've ki- I guess I've killed a snake. I've driven yeah. over a snake before, and it broke. You no know one ever feels too bad about that. No, no I'm chopped heart. heart. The overwhelming majority here. I, I've chopped two thirds. I've chopped the snake's head off. <laughs> two thirds majority. Nobody gives the. Fuck I, I love snakes. animals. It breaks. Uh, my but heart. I don't really like snakes. 
I kind of did test them, I have to say. Spiders. People have killed plenty of spiders in their day. Okay. Even when I was in Arizona and there was a rattlesnake in my yard, I caught the son of a bitch and took him out of the desert. I wouldn't be catching a rattlesnake. I'd be shooting that fucking thing. I fucking did. It's like if I lived down <laughs> south and all the animals that are down there that can kill people are yeah. like ten times bigger than they are up here. So, yeah. you know, they, fucking up here we have copperheads. Mm-hmm. That is our yeah. venomous snake. Right, right now, got bit by a copperhead. They have timber rattlers. Oh, yeah. They have Grandma cotton did. mouth. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, now they have fucking pythons, you know, because after the hurricanes and shit, all those snakes were released, pet snakes. Yeah. In swamps, and they populated and everything and interbred with the... No, I thought about that. You know, they have alligators down there, alligator snapping turtles. Alligator snapping turtles are a hell of a turtle. And then yeah. you get in the water and you have bull sharks yeah. on the coast and shit. Yeah. And the brackish yeah. water. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. no. <laughs> I don't feel too bad. I'll kill them. What do you guys think about um, Mother hooking herself to the Mithraic ship system? So she can experience kind of... Yeah, I, I honestly, like... Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I wonder like, if it changes her. Or if it will change her at all. Yeah, it, it kind of. I kind of want to move forward from that story. You know yeah. what I mean? But, like, she, I, maybe she was just able to see... And ha- have some empathy for... Uh, the other uh, side. No, no, for, for Tempest. And for Tempest, yeah. And what was going on. I, I did like that stuff between her and father where they were kind of butting heads. I understand. I understood how both people fell, actually. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad she left it up to father. I agree with him. But you need to find a way to handle it to get the job done to make these kids do it. You know what I mean? I don't think he has kill a lot. The, kill the creature. He just doesn't have a lot of experience like that. Like, kill them! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, you didn't really tell the kids how to do it. No. You like, just go in there and do it. Yeah. You know? I mean, but how... That was nice to see the, like that parental moment between them. Yeah, it was good. I like that because it was cool. It's yeah, cool yeah. to see the, the yeah. juxtaposition. You know yeah. how all these androids are experiencing these things. Yeah, I, I just wanted to see Father be successful with what he was trying to do, so exactly. he could feel more useful. Yeah. I feel like maybe he wasn't. You know, yeah, yeah. well that might come to a head later and affect the story in some way. But do you yeah. guys think Mother is, has those feelings about Father, or do you think Father's being paranoid? I think it goes both ways. Yeah, because when she when uh, Tempest asked Mother what you see was like, can he do different things than you he's right. like, oh, it can be funny sometimes yeah yeah. you know it's, yeah. it's like okay well, so she's she demeaning his li- limitations <laughs> you know? no I think she literally just thought about it no yeah. I can do anything and everything I don't think she meant to be demeaning but I think she just knows his limitations well you know he that's really is. Is. yeah you know what I mean it's just uh, a lot of people don't mean to be demeaning sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's true that's are. true that's true so. so Marcus kills Ambrose which I think was pretty I don't know if he actually did he intentionally kill him oh yeah because he, he wanted him to it. die, I'm sure. How did he know that that was go- that rock was going to get hot? And he saw it getting hot. Did he see it getting hot? That's okay. why I shoved his face in. Yeah, but like it was glowing. Right? I just saw it glowing. Okay. Yeah. Because like what happened was his face burned, and he turned around. I'm like, oh, okay, now he's got a scarred face. And then there was a cut, and then he, his back was on fire. No, he turned and shoved him into it. No, I know, but then when he fucking looked, his face was on fire, and he yeah. didn't, he didn't look like he was like on fire yet. Yeah. Do you think Eddie so shoved him into it and then it showed him on catching fire on the back of his shirt and he kept walking towards them the and then all of a sudden he yeah. just woof, went up. Yeah. Do you think the other people in the group interpreted that though as Marcus killing him or as soul spontaneously combusting him? I think they're going to think well, I mean, I think, I think they're going to think Marcus did the right thing. Yeah, Marcus they're, they're going to they're going to look right. at his soul's judgment out of yeah. the way. Yeah, soul's ju- That's what I think. Soul's yeah, judgment. Yeah, so yeah. whether it was Marcus or soul it was soul, you know what I mean? Soul's judgment. I agree because I yeah. think that they already they showed you through the, you know, the story that they were already questioning Grambrose. Right. Mm-hmm. And he was doing some sketchy shit and he's acting like an asshole. And then now all of a sudden, you know, Marcus stood up, you know, and took advantage of the situation. And Yeah, I, I like when people can... Like, he, I, he just, I, I like a, that. It was political opportunism at his bet, you know. Right. <laughs> but he, he took well, him out. Well, for sure, but like we also know, like I think he just, like he wants to save the children, which I think are, is just a great motivation. You do anything you can. You use... Politics, religion, whatever you can to, to, to you use can, it, yeah. right? I agree. I think he, he was it's survival for him. Yeah. I think, uh, I think they will attach to him because yeah. he's a warrior. Mm-hmm. He has yeah. a reputation. Mm-hmm. And they're, yeah, they're previous he took leader. The, and he took the batteries out. That was cool. Yeah, and that he, and he cool. filled a void because now there's a void there. There's no leadership. Mm-hmm. He's going to be the new leader, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. So, um, and he's a doer. He's a doer. So I think he'll be a better leader. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to see. Especially in this circumstance. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, they need somebody that doesn't lead from the pulpit. Because yeah. they, you know, yeah, you, the fucking, they can't rip pages out of their scriptures and eat them. You're, you know? you're going down Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs back to survival <clears throat> at this point. And you need certain people for that, like Marcus. But what's interesting is Marcus is not a He's Caleb. And no. it's, it's going to change the whole dynamic of everything. 
Well, well if he's smart, that, he'll use their beliefs to... But he did have that religious yeah. experience, so we'll see. Yeah, that's the big question going right. forward. So right. what were those... Okay, so who was on this planet? Who built that structure? Right. Why um, did it only talk to him? What's that? Why did it only talk to him? Right. Is it going to change his... Like, his beliefs? Well, yeah, who... Yeah, and what was that? What, what, what was that whispering? Well, it could be some sort of um, artificial intelligence. Yeah, it could be. If he's, uh, could be a, yeah. if he's atheistic, then maybe there's something about them... You know, with implants or something like that back on Earth. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Because they weren't held maybe to such strict adherence to purity. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea what's going yeah. on. I look forward to the show. Yeah, it just kind of. But something's going it. on. Like, you got, like I said, where people are seeing visions, the kids in the cloaks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, these creatures running around. The creatures aren't so much a detail to me that's as important at this point. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's just things that live on this planet. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But, you know, what the structure is, why it only affected him. Is it self-aware? Zach had to leave for the outro, but uh, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this episode with us. Yeah. Love it so much. If you like us, you want to support us, just like and subscribe and hit that notification. Leave some comments down below, all right? And check out our other reactions as well, all right? Happy New Year.